Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 2nd, 2023, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Source of Light. The scripture is from Job chapter 9, verses 1 through 10. Then Job answered, Indeed, I know that this is so, but how can a mortal be just before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not answer him once in a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength who has resisted him and succeeded. He removes mountains, and they do not know it. When he overturns them in his anger, he shakes the earth out of its place, and its pillars tremble. He commands the sun, and it does not rise. He sealed up the stars. He alone stretched out the heavens, and trampled the waves of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades, and the chambers of the south. He does great things beyond understanding, and marvelous things without number. Amen. Another scripture is from Matthew 5.16. In the same way, let your light shine before people, so they can see the good things you do and praise your Father who is in heaven. Today's story is from Douglas Frosty, who lives in South Carolina. On a clear night, I took my dog outside. The sky was beautiful. I often feel a sense of awe for God's creation, particularly when many stars and planets are visible in the night sky. How vast it is! I also feel a connection with Job, who marveled at the constellations of Orion and the Great Bear, all of which I can see thousands of years thousands of years after Job did. Another feature of the night sky that amazes me is that the objects that appear the brightest, the moon and some of the planets like Venus and Jupiter, do not produce their own light. Unlike the numerous stars that generate their own light, the moon and the visible planets have no intrinsic light of their own. Instead, they reflect light from the sun. In a similar manner, we shine the brightest when we reflect the light of God. If we will allow the Holy Spirit to help us stay attuned to God and to Jesus Christ, we will be better able to reflect that light to others. Even when things all around us seem dark, God and God's Son are an incredible source of light for humankind. Amen. God is light. God is good. And God, so God's love and grace are wonderful and abundant to all people. Sometimes we, fee, we see that people do not know about this. Sometimes we see that people do not know about the existence of God and His marvelous and His wonderful work in their lives. However, we can let them know through our love and grace. Actually, our love and grace are the reflection of God's love and grace. We are 
God's people. We are God's children who share God's love and grace with others. So we are here. Church family and friends, our whole ministries and our good hearts and kindness, gentleness are from God. Our characteristics came from God. Actually, we have the features of God's characteristics in our hearts and in our lives. Do you think, are you kind? Do you think you are kind? Do you think you are generous? Do you think you care for people sacrificing yourselves? If you are, it comes from God. All that characters comes from God, we believe. As the sun, as the moon, and all the planets are bright in night sky, when they reflect the light of the sun, we can show the brightest love, brightest. Grace, the brightest kindness to people when we reflect God's love and grace, God's compassion and justice, and God's peace. So I hope you and I try to receive the light first, see the light first. And then show that, reflect that, to the people in the world, and they will see God's light through us. They will see God's love through us. They will see God's grace with through us. We are the venue, avenue that they see God's love and grace. So let's do that. Let's shine God's light to all people in the world. God told Jesus, told me, "You're the salt of the world and light in the world." Let us do our own, our mission, and our work as the light of the world, light in the world, which. Reflect Jesus' light, God's light, and the light of the Holy Spirit. How can we make it? How can we make it? Follow God's word, follow God's will and desire. Whatever the Holy Spirit inspires us to help others, show gentleness, greatness. Let us. Try to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, opening our hearts to God, to the Holy Spirit, the guidance and lead of God. Then we can make it. Whenever the mind, the minds, I mean the heart, the kindness and gentleness comes in your mind. That is God's call. So let us try to shine God's love and grace. Let us pray. Creator of our vast universe, help us to remember that you are the source of light for our lives, and you are called. You called us. To reflect your light to the people. Please be with us and help us, and let us follow you, and let us be gracious to others, be nice to others, be gentle and kind to others, so that let all people see you, your love, and your grace. Through us, through our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and thank you.
拜拜。